hi everybody, welcome back. Hello. Feeling better now? Feeling calm? No. Yeah. I'm angry. I see you brought your pet gorilla with you. So sure, I'm calm. I get the message. Loud and clear. Quite right. That's the spirit? You're being very brave, Alan. I understand you're confused. I would be more concerned if you weren't suspicious of me. I don't blame you for it. Big of you. Now, why don't you come with me? We'll reacquaint you with my clinic and go over everything you might have forgotten. Little walk and some fresh air? Yes, it will do you good. I mean, if, like, psychiatric help is living in, like, a log cabin for a little while, uh, you know, well, maybe not the meds. Maybe not the meds, but, like, uh, you know what? Idyllic Maine and, like... You know, also pet gorilla. I'm pretty sure I could kick that dude in the nuts and go down in this one shot. Is for patients. Most of them are I'm, here I right tower now. over this man. He's on a, a fishing trip, gorilla. Except for the ones who are particularly vulnerable, of course. I encourage creativity as a part of the recovery process here at Cauldron Lake Lodge. I specialize in treating artists. I bet you do. Splendid, Alan. I honestly believe we can get this thing under control if we work together. One nut kick and you go down. This way, Alan. One nut kick and you go down as well. I'm making a break for it. Out that window. What is this, pla this place doesn't seem that big. To require now, Alan, an elevator. Alan, experience with you, I know I need to get right into the heart of the matter as quickly as I can after an episode. So I'm just going to say this. Alice is dead. No. You're in a very vulnerable state until you understand and accept this. Alice drowned. And you couldn't face that. You're suffering from hallucinations, paranoid delusions, unusual thinking, an obsession about light and darkness, a feeling that everything revolves around you, your thoughts and dreams. Your mind has constructed an elaborate fantasy scenario in which your writings are affecting reality. She has been kidnapped and supernatural forces of darkness are trying to stop you. We go this way, Alan. I wasn't ready for another shot, so I went along with it. He had to be lying, but under the influence of the drug he had given me, I had to fight not to believe his words. It's all in your head. You've been making it up. Apart from the tragic accident with your wife, no one has been killed. Your delusions are just a manifestation of your subconscious mind trying to protect you from the too painful truth. Unless we fight the fantasy, it will return. I know the instinct is to resist me, but think about it. Doesn't this make far more sense than the insane supernatural conspiracy you have concocted in your mind? You're a skeptic by nature, Alan. We both know this. Everything can be explained logically. This is a big ass sundial. Damn, dude. What is it? Beyond the shadow you settle for, there's a miracle illuminated. Memory of a dear friend and a poet. Indeed. Alright, doctor. What else you got for me out here, huh? I never get tired of this view. Very inspiring, isn't it? Cauldron Lake spread below us. I could see Mira Peak on the other side of the lake. I thought I could make out the spot where Diver's Isle had been when I arrived with Alice. Now there was nothing but waves. It seems there's a storm coming. Funny, I don't recall there being a mention of that in the weather forecast. Well, no matter. This weather way, is follow me. random, Doc. Fucking turns on a dime. What I'm telling you is good news. Right now we're in control. You told Every me my wife is dead. Relapse, it gets more and more difficult That's not good news. From the dark depths of your imagination. Not surprising, considering your profession. Imagination is what you work with. After all your nightmares, this should come as an immense relief to you. If it doesn't, why is that? Because I'm lying? Or because you don't want to admit that you're not well? 
It's very natural for you to think of me as your enemy. It's part of the illness. I let him talk. All, Hartman I'm obviously loved his own voice. His words echoed madly inside my head. But I, I dug my do nails into the palms myself. of my hands to stay focused. You need to work with me. Once you accept that, we can begin the journey towards your recovery. Cool start, Doc. Let's go inside. You just like teleport or like what's up? Are you locking that door? Here's the entrance to the office wing. That's for staff only. You were impressed by my trophies when you first arrived here. I do love to hunt. The that don't sound like yours, me. Man versus nature. It's wonderful stuff. Pretty damn wonderful, yeah. Man is the ultimate uh trophy. Hold on, Doc. I'm gonna scary, scary, scary. Goddamn right. I am. <laughs> I'm a real bad dream, mister. You should be afraid of me. Don't want to run into me in the night, that's for sure. Please, Emerson. Mr. Wake is confused enough as it is. Yeah, you'd like me to go away so you won't be scared. But you can't just decide what kind of dream you have or when you have it. Yeah, you can. It's called lucid dreaming, dipshit. Okay, okay. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Boo. <laughs> We're actually making some progress with him, I'm happy to say. He works on video games. Ooh, yeah. It's ah. trash, of yeah. course, yeah. but it does I'll involve some small yeah. creative effort, which makes him receptive to my therapeutic methods. No kidding. La, 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 Namaste. There's a lot there's a lot to take in. You might have noticed the typewriter in your room. You've been writing as a part of the therapy. As soon as you feel up to it, you should continue. Uh yeah. Read what? What am I reading? Doc, move. Read what? Welcome to Calder Lake Lodge. We're here to give you the specialized help you need. However, please observe the following. Please ask friends and family to schedule visits beforehand to ensure they don't interfere with your therapy and or periods of creativity. Also, please respect your fellow patients' need for privacy and personal space, especially when they're engaged by their creative processes. Be patient! Typically, our patients have long-term creative problems, and they won't be solved overnight. Give yourself permission to take the time you need. Bear in mind that you're voluntarily receiving treatments that have been specifically tailored for you. Engagement theory, trademark, and its sister method, the flow, trademark, work best when you are actively engaged in shaping them. If you have any concerns, please don't he hesitate to voice them. One nut kick is all it takes. My rheumatism is killing me. There's a storm coming. Oh, what a storm. I hope it wipes this place off the face of the earth. Same. And these two are the Anderson brothers, Odin and Tor. They had a... Oh! Campus, a heavy metal Your tour. in the 70s and 80s called Old Gods of Asgard. That is pretty fucking they metal. They even adopted new first names to complete the image of Viking gods. After the band broke up, they lived on a farm nearby. They are, well, in advanced stages of dementia. They're well cared for, TLC and all that. There's nothing more that can be done. I'm afraid that the rock and roll lifestyle has left its mark. What does that even... Oh. oh. I'm so Kay. sorry to cut this short. For now, Alan, the power has been acting up. I'd better go check on it. We'll continue this soon. Meanwhile, when you feel up to it, return to your room and try to write. It really is for the best. Don't you think? I'd like to bash his head in with a hammer. Oh, he'd love to fish out our secrets, but he has no clue. He's not crazy enough. <laughs> not crazy like us, Sonny. Yeah! Being crazy is a requirement, Sonny. Who else 
could understand the world when it's like this. It takes crazy to know crazy. That's the sanest thing I've heard in a while. <laughs> Zane! You're all right, Tom. Hey, we like him, don't we, bro? He's got to go to the farm. The Anderson Farm. Valhalla! We wrote it all down, lest we forget. A crash course. All you need to know to get your head right. You need to find the message. Here, Sonny, here's something for you. Gave me a rash, but I kept it safe from these bastards. My head was clearing up, or according to Hartman, I was sinking back into the fantasy. I was convinced he was lying to me about everything. Crazy or not, the Andersons made more sense. Tom, got any booze on you? Yeah, uh, no. <laughs> we have guys. a stash of the special stuff at the farm. Our own formula. Local ingredients. Medicine clears your head right up. Makes you remember, like, moonbeams on the brain. Yeah, that sounds safe. Thomas Zane's writing and assistance. Zane could feel the poems taking form, shaping things. As he experimented, he imagined he could almost feel the power surging through the keys of the typewriter. It exhilarated him. But there was fear, too. If not for his young assistant, Emil, he would have given it up. But Emil convinced him otherwise. He, too, had a way with words. Okay. I guess we'll go back to our room and... Right? Uh... Good thing he's not overreacting or anything. I see. Well, he's the boss. Okay, that was Nurse Sinclair. Something's wrong. You know how they I'm not myself. Gotcha. It's hard to think that there's a shadow inside my head. I can only focus on writing. Everything else is a blur. I'm trapped in this cabin. Have been for days, but it's always dark outside. My editor is real. I saw her again. She's not human. It's not human. A dark presence is wearing the old woman's face. She was covered in clinging shadows. There's a hole in her chest where her heart should be. I think I've made a horrible mistake. I don't think I'm any closer to saving Alice. It's been lying to me, using me to get the story it wants, and the story will come true. Yeah. I mean, I, this is, hello. Generator I mentioned that the power had been acting up. Maybe that was the reason for the generator and the work light on the balcony The generator hadn't been activated and there was no key Okay, I'm sure that'll totally won't come into a Play in like a very short time The white glare of the blank page in front of me hurt my eyes <laughs> My hands began to shake uncontrollably. Everybody calm down. Put that down. I need help. Hey, wake. You stay here. I'm going to go see what's up. You just keep doing what you're doing. Be cool, okay? Be cool. I am cool. I didn't know what the chaos was all about, but it could be my only chance of getting out of here. Investigate the racket. Well, I think I know what the racket is. Hey, that's a paper. Barry in the lodge. Talking, giving Barry the grand tour. Clearly proud of the place. He went on and on about his hunting trophies, and Barry was impressed. But he was here on business. He raised his voice, cut through the monologue. Hey, Hartman, where's Al? Hartman stopped in mid-sentence, annoyed at the interruption. He nodded at the hulking orderly standing nearby. The man smiled and clapped a practiced hand on Barry's shoulder. Afraid of the Not weird at all. Brothers, are ya? Not so weak now, are we? Well, uh, and he knocked her out. Sinclair looked bad. That wasn't a love tap. The crazy old fart hit her hard. And if she was one of Hartman's goons, she had it coming. I could get the key store. to the office room. Oh, he hit her with a real hammer. I had to get to Hartman's office. He had taken all my manuscript pages. That's where he'd be keeping them. 
Come out and face the music, Birch. It's time to pay the piper. I have the keys now. I am God. Barry? Seriously, do you have any idea how much trouble you're in? Barry? Ow! About time! Why are you standing behind my Barry. cardboard Barry, cutout? I'm glad to see you. We need to get to Hartman's office. It's right next door. You okay? Apparently not. There's a revolver on the table. That's fun. These were all the pages I had on me. And more. Bazinga. Alan, please. You're sliding back into the... Tell me one more lie and I'll shoot you in the face. No, shoot him anyway. Ah, well, it was worth a shot. Really, Wake, come on. Let's work together on this. You have no idea... Hartman, what... shut up! Barry, get out of here. I'll catch up with you. Get a car. Oh, Al, let's just... Go! Wake, listen to me. This is a mistake. Don't you see? Together we can create something absolutely wonderful with your ability and mine. I mean, you deserved it? He seemed a little too excited there. Uh, I gotta go. I had to find a way out. Ow. Yeah, seems normal. Oh shit. Mash the buttons, good. Although who locked that door when I unlocked it? That is horse malarkey. So is that. I needed light to get the possessed bookshelves out of my way. That is a sentence that was just said in a video game. And spoken by a real human being. Well, I got the keys, so this is... I wish I could run. I wish I could run. Oh, that's a small little dingus. Focus! Bazinga! Don't know how long that's gonna hold... gonna do that for later. <laughs> Maybe if I remember, I'll check out the QR code. Cause that shit random. Ow, my ankle. Al, run. Al, don't stop. I keep running. Well, you're a- you suck. I have a flare now. You won't like me when I- I can just- j Ow, fuck off. Oh, spooky! See paranormal activity? That's fucking furniture on 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 ceilings that don't affect me. I've seen it all, man. Let's stop and read Hartman's mission. Hartman knew he was no creator. He had no ambitions on that front, and he certainly didn't want to end up like every artist he had worked with here, damaged in ways that were hard to describe, or worse. It was enough for Hartman to maintain creative control and provide direction, to be a producer. That was what most of these people were in need of anyway. Of course, suitable subjects were few and far in between. I just start kidnapping people. <laughs> That's clearly what they all do. Got anything in there? No? Cool. I'm just gonna run. Oh, uh, yeah, f yeah, fine, cool. Um... Yeah? Come and get it! You can't break down that door. You can't break these cuffs. Come get me. Bye! I tricked you! Bamboozle 101! Make them think they can do something. Well, fuck you. Jump out the window. 
Come get this shit. Yeah, you. Fucking boozled. 101. Good, open the gate. Open the gate. Barry, open the gate. I found the car, but the gate's locked. You're gonna have to go through the hedge maze over there. Of course Barry, I have fucking I hedge maze. Is, oh, Barry, I just wanted to get to the fucking reference. Thanks. Oh, what house? That one? Yeah, Barry, I wanna get to the more, less obscure uh, reference, thanks. Really? Two, two gate? Really? Demon's really upgrading here. What do you think I'm trying to fucking do? You think I'm, I enjoy this shit? No. Yeah, yay. Please tell me there, there is... That's nice. I have a gun now. Please tell me if I just... There's there's an Easter egg in here. Right? There has to be. This can't be just a ref reference. Fucking scared the Jesus out of me. You made me an atheist, sir! Like, I I'm hoping to turn a corner and there's just a, a frozen corpse. Don't trust a me- <gasps> Don't trust Emil. I. I don't. Know who that is. I mean, yeah, he was uh, he was Thomas Zane's assistant. But I don't. I don't. Don't know who he is. Wake sees the old god stage. I the Viking paraphernalia that littered the area surrounding an unlikely centerpiece. A full side stage complete with an impressive sound system with all the trimmings, including a dragon. A fucking dragon. It took a special kind of crazy to build something like this in a remote field. When the sky split open with a deafening boom and the music started blasting, it felt strangely appropriate. It took a special kind of crazy to build something like this in a remote field. Bitch, how do you think Woodstock started? My man, come on. Wake. You gotta, you gotta know. Stuck on a post. Yeah, I kind of figure that one. Oh God, it is a big one. Oh my God, Al, fucking reload quicker, please. Fucking, oh, okay, I was juking and jiving, but thanks. Headshots mean nothing. Give me a headshot modifier, come on. Okay, the hedge mazes. Uh, come on, where's the chainsaw? Let me, let me complete the other reference. Uh, Hartman. And the power failure. That sounds like a metal name for a band. Hartman hurried down the corridor. We are the Hartman and the power failure. It is most susceptible to this. But this was not an ordinary storm. Wake had been riding, and he had woken something up in the depths of the lake. Now it was coming for him. Hartman had naturally prepared for a situation like this. The idiot brothers would keep Wake distracted while Hartman double checked everything just to be sure. Be fair. I would have listened to their stories. If we're being fucking honest here, I would have sat down and been like, yeah, no, sh tell me about Valhalla. Brought mead? Hell yeah. You guess some of that shit. Bazinga! Huh? What? Who's saying those things? I was talking about giving this game credit where it's due. The fucking voice acting on these guys. That, like, stupendous. 
Like, just the absurdity of... Like, the vocal style change. Okay, now there's fucking birds too? Are you goddamn kidding me? God, and the birds? You gotta be fucking kidding me, man. Oh my god, I don't have the batteries. The birds, where's the birds? Bitch! Oh, that was a fucking quick scope if ever the goddamn was one. Yeah, the, the, the first one we meet, the fucking, uh... He... I see you all. The... There's a thermos up here. The the garage owner. I forgot his name. The first one we meet of the the possessed. I guess we'll call them. Just hit. Yeah, fucker. Don't throw an axe. Like the the. The vocal performance on top of like the the effects they're using, it is it is enjoyable to listen to. I really I really dig it. I could use flashlight ammo. Yes, I will call batteries flashlight ammo from here on out. No, I won't. No, I won't. Pick up the manuscript. Mott in charge. Mott knew that Wake was smarter than him. Wake had more money, a beautiful wife, everything. And Hartman said Wake was important. That made him better than Mott. But Mott was calling the shots now. He'd expected Wake to whimper and grovel, but instead, he seemed willing to fight. Mott knew he'd gotten under Wake's skin. If only Mott actually had his wife. The thought made him shiver. What? Hold on. What the fuck was that last sentence? If only Mott actually had his wife, the thought made him shiver? What? Oh. Oh. W wait, is Mott... Who the fuck is Mott? Is he the kidnapper? What? Who is Mott? We've met them. Whoever they may be. You're a fuck. You're a bunch of ball bag fuckery. Well, yeah, when I get fucking sneak attacked, yeah, of course, um, I have no- I have nothing. I have no batteries. I need batteries. Ain't got no batteries. Battery? No, your flare. I'll take the flare. Kinda useful. Maybe, I don't know. You got anything in this wheelbarrow? Oh no, it's a fucking demon barrel, of course! A fucking course! Thought the safety of the barrel was there. And it tricked me. I... F I feel betrayed. Barry attacked by a Taken. For the moment, Barry was just glad he had survived the fall. He had been separated from Al, and there was no easy way to climb back up. He told himself he'd be okay. Okay in the gloomy forest at night. He would just have to wait for a while for Al to find his way down. Barry turned when he heard the heavy footsteps and saw the movement. The man-shaped shadow lunged at him from the bushes, an axe held high. Barry screamed and threw up his hand. The world exploded. Huh? What does- what does that last sentence mean? The world exploded? Sure. It's a nice pond here. Literally only here to make me walk around it, but... Fuck you, you fucker! I feel like I should get a fucking, like... Like, I don't know, something. Just something. Like, I successfully dodged your attack. Give me, like... Ex like flashlight save or some shit. I don't consume as much flashlight. 
That would have been nice. It'd been really nice. This is a boss fountain. Yes, everything in which you you get multiple items is a boss fountain. I don't make the rules. I just see a berry. Yes, big arms. Open the gate. Let's get out of here. Can you open this gate? Maybe. Barry. Uh, well, I slammed it shut when the nasty showed up, and the key fits kind of loose in the lock, so, uh... Barry, you've gotten me killed. I'll find it. Don't worry about it. Well, shit. Barry, you've killed me. Hurry up, Barry. I'm on it. I'm on it. No, you're not. You're doing a very bad job of being on it. Oh my god, the two hit fucking combo for Oh my god. Well, I'm fucking dead, Barry. Thanks for your fucking consideration. Here, everybody eat a dick. Eat a fucking dick sandwich. Oh, he's got a fucking massive charge. You're a dickhead. You're all you're a fucking giant penis. Oh. Well, I can't fucking run cuz I'm reloading. Good lord. That was a jarring ass transition. Al, please tell me we're headed for the nearest. You're now leaving Bright Falls. Come back soon, sign. We're going to the Anderson farm. I knew you were gonna say something like that. You know what? You owe me big time for this. When this is through, if we make it, I don't care what anybody says, I'm done with darkness. You're gonna buy me a tanning bed as a gift, and I'm gonna live in it. Sh sure, ba sure, man. I mean, tanning bed's not gonna do anything. You'd want, like, sun lamps. Like, UV sun lamps. I don't know. Fuck, watch Blade. <laughs> I'm crazy, but that's fine, Barry. <laughs> oh, you got that right, Al. You're barking mad. You are by far the craziest. But maybe that's inevitable when you deal with crazy stuff like this. It helps. This is happening, Barry. Alice, they never had Alice. She's trapped in the darkness at the bottom of the lake, but she's not dead. Al. How can you know that? I know, Barry. I can. Al, I. No, listen. I can bring her back. I can find her. There's something special about this place. The lake, it, it does something to the works of art created here. It makes them come true. But there's a catch. The dark presence, whatever that thing is, twists it to its own end. Ah, it's a monkey paw. That's why all of this is happening. It's using my manuscript to take over everything. Al, I believe you. It happened to Thomas Zane before. It happened to the Andersons. I believe you. Crazy or not, you're not delusional. Weird shit's going down. That's a fact. I'm on board, man. I'm with you. The Andersons knew about it, but they were too far gone to tell me with all the drugs they were on. But they wrote it down. There's a message somewhere at their farm, Barry. We just need to find it. Look out! Why are you telling me to look out? You're the driver. Also, what did the Andersons do? God damn it! <laughs> oh fuck, the voice acting is top notch. I love it. God damn it! I'm dying. I lost my gun in the crash. Of course. Barry was nowhere to be seen. God damn it! Barry, Barry! Oh man, you're okay. Jeez, it's good to hear your voice. I was trying to get out of the car, but the ground gave way. Man, what a drop. And don't worry, your cutout is fine. Thank God. Get that. Are you okay? I hit some bushes, didn't get a scratch. There's no way you can climb down, though. It's like a sheer wall. That seems improbable. Hell, there's something moving down here. Barry, it's a take it. Use a flare, Barry. Yeah. 
Harry, are you all right? <laughs> I'm good, Al. I'm great. Guess you never messed with anyone from New York City before, huh? You're gonna have to find your way around to the farm, Al. I'll be waiting. It's a hell of a farm you guys brought. Harry, just wait for me, okay? Al, I'm not staying here. It's suicide. I'm going to the farm. I'm gonna go ahead and secure the area. You can catch up. Don't worry about it. I'm on the case. Yeah, you secure the area, bud. Now he's Rambo. This turn into a disaster if I didn't catch up with Barry. Fuck you, wind. You don't scare scare me. All right, leave the exploding leaves scare me. No, I see it. You don't have to slow down time. That fucking barrel again. Oh no, I touched it for a split second and it damaged me. Fuck off. Oh my god, this is stupid. This shit is stupid. Did I die? No. No, I didn't. I thought I did. All this for a fucking manuscript, of course. Walter at the Anderson Farm. When he stopped the car at the Anderson Farm, Walter felt relieved. Oblivion was close at hand. The brothers wouldn't miss a jar of moonshine or two in the booby hatch. But then he saw the man on the porch, and he knew who it was. Driving for his life and knowing it was useless, he didn't realize he was crying until he couldn't see the road for the tears. Okay, uh, qu question. What the fuck is a booby hatch? No, no, fucking really. What? That's, that's hilarious. Okay, I, I would like a flashlight at least. That's really... Really, all I, all I really need. You fucking what? Yeah, oh God. It's a... That thing should have technically destroyed the tree, but, you know, whatever. Gift trees, I'm not gonna look them in the mouth, because they don't have them. Surprising thing about trees, they don't have mouths. Ow! Oh my god, it's so stupid. If I just touch them, I take damage. Oh, Al, you have to have a better run, man. I hope the sequel makes you a marathon sprinter. Just so you can, like, actually like, move at a reasonable pace. Turn the pole. Bazinga. Now I just have to turn it on. This is not the way to turn it on. I was just following the fucking wires, be honest. There's another manuscript up here, that's... Not a good sign, just because there's been a lot of dead ends with manuscripts. I hope there'd still be a working generator somewhere around here to power up the old lights by the gate. Motherfucker, it's right next to you. Nightingale, rest awake. Agent Nightingale stared at the passed out rider. The man was sleeping off one hell of a night. Nightingale felt a stab of envy at Wake's oblivion, but he had a job to do. He put the gun to Wake's head and almost became a murderer. His hand shook and his throat felt tight and dry. Biting his teeth, he tried again to pull the trigger. He lost the nerve. Wake stirred. Nightingale would have to settle for an arrest. There has to be something about Nightingale, because he seems just straight up unhinged for no reason. Like, legit. Jump for joy. I fell. I thought maybe I didn't need to jump. Well, turns out I did. I could sense the movement in the woods ahead. Facing the enemy without a weapon was dangerous, but I had no choice. Trust no one in the dark. Yeah, I know. Like, unless the twist is Nightingale is working for the darkness, which would make no fucking sense at all. I understand that. Like, there's no, like, I don't know. He doesn't really have anything. Like, there's no character there. It's just like, he hates Alan. Neat. 
He just hates Alan to hate Alan, you know? Whiffed. Fuck off. Are you fucking- are you- you're actually fucking kidding me. You- what, what do you want me to do? What, what do you want me to do? What do you want me to do? I'm just gonna run. You didn't plan out that area, did you? My only hope is to make it to this. Oh, cool. Oh, there's a nice gank squad attacking me. That's nice. Checkpoint. Yay. I understand they probably want me to stop there and be like, oh, put the generator on. Well. The car was driving away from the farm, headed in the same general direction as I was. For all I knew, it was Barry, caught in the consequences of leaping before looking. What? <laughs> Why? Baka, baka, baka. Yeah, I'm, I'll take the heavy duty flashlight. There you go, bud. Take the beer too, cause uh... Shit, it'll give Nightingale so a reason to arrest you since he's got nothing! Seriously, the fuck is his character? It's day drinking FBI agent who is uh, homicidal. That's it. The car was heading for the cabin up ahead. It wasn't far. If it was Barry, I would see the damage soon. What damage? Of him busting his ass through a car? Guess. Oh no! Thanks for eating ha half of my battery. Ow! I'm trying to deliver each page to the right time and place. I'm trying to show you how the story goes. Okay. Ow. I had seen glimpses of the light before. I had seen it in my dream. It was a strange spaceman or a diver in a bulky suit. He was the one who'd been placing the pages on my It's back. almost like it's uh, Thomas. The dark presence at large. The dark presence followed the choreography laid out to it in the manuscript, growing stronger and stronger, moving like a storm from one scene of destruction to the next. But it was still bound to follow the story and chained to the dark place it came from. When the story reached the end it longed for, it would finally be free. Neat. Neat. Well, let's not let it do that then, I guess. Oh, it's a bear trap. I thought it was a manuscript page. Yeah, oh no, I fucking... Oh, I have, I have nothing. Why am I fighting you? There's no fucking reason. Oh. There was a knife. What the fuck? That was weird. I was gonna say, this sure does look like an area. Alright, we have some protection, maybe. Probably not. The patients escape at the lodge. Well, that's fucking terrible. The storm raged on as the Anderson brothers walked unsteadily away from the clinic with the other patients in tow, knowing that this time they wouldn't return. The darkness around them seethed with horrors, but Tor and Odin were unafraid. Their eyes glinted with guile. They knew every secret path, and there was blood on their hands. They had fought these shades before. Hell yeah, it's fucking Vikings for you, goddammit. Oh, shotgun. Someone had left a gun behind. Now I had a fighting chance of reaching the farm. The Taken are filled with darkness. Cool, cool. Cool, 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 cool. Let's not step on bear traps. What do you mean Alan Wake, Alan Wake wouldn't be great in Dead by Daylight? He's already avoiding trapper traps. Shit. Yeah, bud. Fucking dopamine. Bye. Oh, cool. It's 
trying to pay attention where the light is so I can go towards it. Well, oh my god, of course, another one. Hey, bud. Where's the one behind me? There's always one. There's always, it's always a twofer. It's always a fucking twofer, man. Always. Yeah, bud. Oh, fuck your, fuck your bear trap. Oh my God, are you fucking kidding me? Are you fucking actually kidding me? You're fucking serious. You're, you're fucking serious. Oh boy. Oh fucking boy, howdy. Yeah, bud. Hey, dodge, but doesn't mean anything. I'm the light, you fucking poos. Right. Focus. I could see the car, but there was no sight of the driver. So it's Tor and Odin, right? It has to be. Hello? Anybody here? No, it's Barry. Barry. <laughs> Who the fuck is Danny? What are you? What are you? No, no, I'm sorry. Sure, he's fine. Who the fuck is Danny? Why do I have to keep asking who these people are? All right, Barry. This is an exact replica of the fucking cabin from the lake. You were in jail the other day. I went to the farm again for the moonshine, you know? It makes you see they're, they're not going to miss it. They're in the loony bin. But my buddy, Danny, I lost him. Something's gone wrong with him. It's not him. Like a real bad follow-up. To a real good movie. The best friend's suddenly the bad guy. Who, who wrote this crap anyway? Trying to figure out if. Ow! If that's a reference. Every possible course in my head. If I continue like the Dark Presence wants me to, the story I'm writing won't save Alice. It's a horror story, and it's going to kill her, and me, and everybody in this town. No one will survive. Darkness will consume everything. This is what it's wanted all along. It will be free, unstoppable. It used Alice to get to me, dangled her in front of me to keep me going. It was never going to release her. I'm going to change this. I'll escape. I've written myself into the story. I'm now the protagonist. This feels like a terrible risk, but it's the only way to save Alice. I'll be bound by the events of the story just as much as anyone else who's been woven into it. The story must stay true for this to work. There have to be victims along the way. Near escapes. Cliffhangers. In a horror story, it can't be certain that the hero will succeed or even survive. He almost has to die. I'll write my own escape into the story next. I need help. Zane's going to be the one who will help me. I'll make it happen. Okay, so if he's writing the story, can you fucking give me an explanation of what the fuck is up with Nightingale? That's a closet. Like that's, I'm hung up on that because it makes no fucking sense. Oh, hey, bud. Farm animals are pets, you fuck. You, why, if I could see your ass, you'd be dead already. Just know that. Also, oh, why'd you ruin the window? Danny, huh? You wanted to. The front door was locked. That would solve it. Quite literally, that would solve it. The farm was still a good distance away. I'd need a car to get there fast. If I can only find a car. As an outhouse. Gross? Yes? Oh, you want me to go in the basement? Ah, yes. 
a deer carcass. If, I'm not complaining about it. It makes sense. This is like a hunting town. Also, it is deer fest. Which I don't think I, I ever commented on. Killer name. A plus. All right, to the car, and to the farm. Prove Danny wrong that farm animals are pets. If Barry wasn't up here. He was probably in trouble down at the farm. For a moment, I felt bad for doubting him. After all, I made it this far myself. But Barry was Barry. This is a fucking thermos there. Boy, I would hate to be 100%ing this and be like, I missed that thermos, son of a bitch. That would suck. Oh, I hit something. Don't know what I hit, but I hit something. I'm assuming I'm going the right way. There is no real road. It's just back dirt roads. So I'm just gonna follow. I go oh, right. No, that's a demon. There he is. There's a demon. Fuck you, demon. You ain't stopping me. Oh, I think the demon stopped me. Shit. No, oh, there's a hill. Come on, car, go vroom. Maybe. Oh, God, all of you now? Get out of here. Oh, I think I'm getting out. No, don't look at them, Alan. God damn it. You do the stupidest shit, Al. I'm speaking about the stupidest shit. Am I doing any? Oh my god, it's, it's. Oh my god, it's actually fucking stupid. Boy, howdy. Oh man. So they do realize, like, people weren't afraid of the movie Maximum Overdrive, right? Right? It wasn't a scary movie, that was like cocaine on paper. Yes, it was. That is a. This feels like an, a, the end of a Left for Dead. I'd known the brothers used to be some kind uh, of stars. Thing. It hadn't really sunk in until I saw the stage. This is a Left for Dead too. Uh, and any area. I forget the fucking area. That's fucking metal as fuck, Barry! Oh, there's a lot of them, though! You fucking better, dude! Cool, I would like the fucking... That's nice. Oh my fucking lord. Oh man. Yeah, good. Can we get this fucking over with? I know. Hey, bud, do you notice there's a lot of people fucking throwing shit at me? Because it's really fucking annoying. Oh my god, it's the throwing enemies. Here, hold that. Why? Man, if the ow, fuck you. I want to give you guys a compliment here, but shit, it's hard with the fucking 
throwing guys. Jesus fuck, man. Like, did they do everything for this game? Like, they made the... You're a, you're a fuck. You're a, you're, a, you're a fucking whore. Get out of here. God. You want to put the fucking light somewhere, damn it? Thank you. This is a fucking rock concert. Yeah, coffee. Like, they they did the 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 night the night spring stuff, right? I'm assuming at least. So, a big plus one to that. Big plus one there. Did they make this music? Cause if they did, fucking kudos. That is a lot. Like. It's gotta be a fucking crazy thing to make a game. But to do like... Oh my god, you... Oh cool, fuck me, right? Oh my god. I wanna give you guys a compliment, but oh man, the combat's not good. Oh, uh, yeah, throw guy, of course. Yeah, fucking of course, man. What do you mean you didn't die? Like, if you guys made the. Oh my god, the fucking guys who throw shit. Yeah, Barry. Hell yeah. Oh, good, and then they're behind me, so I really have actual no defense. Cool, cool. Yeah, really, 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 real big Chad move. Can I get up the stairs? I couldn't. The game literally said no. Oh, cool, three hits? That's neat. That's really fucking cool. I don't know, I don't know if I'm hitting anybody there. Can we get done with this fucking section now? I'd be down for that. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, of course! Oh my god. Here, eat that dick. Oh my god. I'm gonna fucking scream. Which isn't good, because it's 2.30 in the fucking morning. And this is my life currently. He's fucking doing this stage over and over and over again. Yes, yes, excellent. Here, hold that. I don't, for one, I do not know who, f who is hitting me from behind. No idea. Yeah, that's totally where I wanted that, man. Oh, we're done? Thank God. I don't think that was supposed to happen. <laughs> that was awesome! No, it wasn't. Bright Falls, rock and roll capital of America. Sure. Anywho. Um, yeah, I, I imagine making a game is like tough fucking work, but you guys made the game. A very good game. I'll say that. I'm bitching about the combat, but like, it's a survival horror game and like, some of it is bullshit. Some of it, a lot of it is bullshit. Just like the sneak attacks and, and shit. Sneak attacks and like it's the the fuckery is is a lot. But like you guys did the the dark uh, the night night falls, no night springs night springs like live action shit, Barry, uh, and they, like if you guys did the, like this is in house music you guys just decided to make. Fucking good on you, man.
Good on you, Remedy. That's that's fucking awesome. That's really dope. That that is not just the extra mile. That is going the extra planet. That's not a good that's not a good euphemism. See, bestseller, no reason to worry. Your cutout's good as Thank no God. where I left it. I'll come back for it once we have the place secured. Yeah, that's been my biggest worry all this time. We need to get this thing moved out of the way. This is as far as I got before they ambushed me. Well, I, there's a thingy up here, so I can put two and two together at this point. But yeah, like, like if that ugh, what? I think Alan Wake here has something to say. Uh, what's that, Al? Barry, I'm going to shoot you in the fucking dome. Barry, you're 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 a good character. Please don't ruin it. Right now, I'm just standing here because I need my best friend Barry to carry me. But that's okay. I can just take him for granted. I think I see what you did there. Yeah, it was pretty good. You want me to do my imitation of Barry Wheeler? No. Thought so. Damn, dude. Harsh. I mean, they are Vikings. Stuff. They must have done okay for themselves. So how come I never? Shut up, Sleep. Barry. We all spend uh, oh, it's just shut up. Soft Man. Somewhere it's between memory. Hey, remember when I got you that gig? Your first real writing job. What got you started? Was this one of your episodes? Oh, that's a nice little lore, lore dump there. That's great. We join Mr. Jones as he explores the endless dreamscape, only to be brought to a sudden stop by a decidedly mundane situation. A long line of people. Hey, Jones, right? Listen, we're gonna have to wait until his highness over there is good and ready. Oh, wow. Who's that? You don't know him? What are you, new? He's the guy dreaming us. Well, not just us. He dreams everything. All of this. But, wait, no. I'm the one who's dreaming. I'm asleep. Is it? Isn't this my dream? Oh yeah. Sure. Get real, pal. You're just another dream. I'm a dream. You're a dream. The weirdo in the diving suit is a dream, and the girl made of smiles and sunshine is definitely a dream. But I'm pretty sure I'm dreaming this. Well, maybe you're a really confused dream. What am I? A shrink? All I know is I'm going with the smart guys, and they say that's the guy doing the dreaming. Right there. I don't know what that means. It means we keep him happy. No sudden falls. We make sure he has his clothes on when he goes out in public. No chases where the monster is nipping at his heels and he runs like crazy, but his legs don't seem to get him anywhere. None of that. Because if he wakes up in a cold sweat... Oh. Yeah, precisely. So we wait till he wants to move on. Keep things nice and calm. Hey, something... Something's happening here. Yeah? What's that? What? Can't you hear that? Oh, God help us. It's an alarm clock. Oh, it's you, isn't it? Please, man. I got a wife and kids. Please don't wait. Is that it? Boo. Cop out ending. Worst episode yet. Boo. Boo, I say. It was one of the ones I had written. Would have been fantastic. Fantastic ending. Thermos. Oh, it was stairs. I'm like, how do I get up top? Stairs. Stairs is how. Typically, at least. That's a nice, bright, shiny page right there. The Anderson Brothers in the 70s. It's 1976. Madness reigns at the Anderson farm. Contrary to all logic, the headiest ingredient of their moonshine is unfiltered water from Cauldron Lake. The Andersons feel like gods. Odin can't stop laughing. He contemplates cutting his eye out. Tor runs across the field, naked, 
shrieking, hammer in his hand, trying to catch lightning. Fuck yeah, bro. Their songs have power. Something ancient is stirring in the depths, coming back. Hell yeah. Get high on moonshine and streak across your own field. Hell yeah. What are the, what are the cops going to do? Nothing. The Viking boat looked imposing, almost like a battering ram. It, the, yes, I'm pretty sure that's what they were, basically. Beep boop. Oh, I'm like, something broke. Something's not right here. Thanks, bud. Titties? Oh, cool. Oh, excellent. The dodge mechanic only works sometimes. All right. Fucking God, stop. Oh my god. Oh good, I'm in a corner. Cool, excellent. Go away, thank you. I'm coming. No, I don't. Good lunge, pal. You did it. Oh, he's one of them. Yeah, long range shotgun's not the smartest, I understand that, but, uh, fuck him! I mean, let's not get touched by the electric- the, the electricity. Barry, where'd you go? Look at that, see the cans! I talked about that last episode, I think. Yeah. Oh, Barry, you- What happened here? Barry. Okay. Oh, uh, Barry. Barry, I'm in the rabbit hutch. Barry, is it? Ow, fuck. I said not to touch it. And I, what I do? I touched it. Oh, man. How about suck my willy? Oh, of course the car is possessed. Why wouldn't it be? That's just silly. Where are you running to? Stop running. Boy, howdy. Ba Barry? How did you... Oh, I'm stuck on a tree. Barry, I'm stuck on a tree. Hi, I'm glad you made it here without any problems. Yep. That... Those geezers had quite a production going on. Oh, you know what, Al? If we make it through this alive, I'm gonna start representing them. Yep, sell this stuff online, maybe get a reality show going, release a new single. Good luck with that, pal. Hey, you find us a way out of here, okay? I'm gonna take a closer look at this stuff. Yeah, I wouldn't, because it's like... Isn't it technically like a bomb in the making or some shit? I thought that ladder was gonna be uh, something I did, but I guess not. All right, how the fuck do I get upstairs? You're telling me to go upstairs. There's a door here. Door, kick it. Fuck yeah, bitch. I like that the objective is open it for Barry. No, I will not. I refuse. Oh, there's more up. Yeah, bud. You think you're scary, huh? 
You think he's carrying one kick to the dick? It's all it takes. And you'd be fucked. Look at that. Shot to the dick. Boom. Never stood a chance. I'm good. Keep your eyes open, okay? Uh, don't find Barry. Don't find. A lot of creaky boards up here. Maybe I'm not fine. I might just actually die. There's always a possibility here. Why is the power source all the way the fuck up here? Oh, it's a radio. As you regular listeners know, I tend to work through the night, but I'm not the only one. Deputies Mulligan and Thornton are taking a couple of moments off their busy schedule to join me here in the studio. Boys, how busy are you now? Deerfest is almost here, isn't it? I bet that keeps you in business. Pretty busy, yeah. Actually, Pat, we've been real busy with other stuff. Which concerns an ongoing investigation. We can't talk about that, Thornton. I wasn't gonna say anything. I was just saying we got, you know, other irons to fry. And how would you compare your workload to last year's? Things have seemed relatively peaceful to me, but people do tend to get a little wild this time of year. Oh, it's wild, Pat. It's pretty wild. There's been all sorts of trouble this year. Vandalism, fighting, public disturbance. Fucking crazy out there, Pat. People gone missing, too. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's pretty much the uh, usual stuff, Pat. Uh, just, you know, uh, a lot more of it. Now, is it just me? Why is it selling most Sizzlack? Wilder every year. People seem to be more drunk, at least, or they start earlier and younger. Oh, it's definitely not just you, Pat, but definitely, Pat. Hey, I'm talking here, Thornton. Uh, oh, shoot, I lost my train of thought. Not just me. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, it's wilder, Pat, but actually most of the trouble seems to be coming from grown men. People who ought to know better, you know? Kids are doing fine this year. Well, that's nice to hear, at least. Boys, I want to thank you for stopping by. I'll let you get back to your patrol. Sure thing, Pat. Yeah, sure thing, Pat. Yeah, I got a call here for Seymour. Seymour Butts. Again, why is the generator on the top fucking floor? You think you'd want it somewhere closer? These always do well for me. I could see the building that had to be the Andersons' home on the other side of the field. It wasn't far now. I wasn't worried about trusting the ramblings of two burned-out geriatric wrecks. They had the goods. You know what? I don't know if you should believe them. Kick it! Real good. Was I supposed to open the door for Barry? Am I just leaving Barry in here? Ugh. Barry. Ugh. Yeah, you gonna fight about it? You got to be kidding me. You ha you actually have to be fucking kidding me. Oh, Jesus fuck, man. Stop running. Why are you running? Why does it roar? That sounds like a lot. Like, way too much. I don't like that you guys bull charge now. You guys are just fine and dandy with your big axe and your fucking speed for no reason. Alright. I mean, I could just hop the fence, but God, God knows Alan can't. There's a fucking random ass ladder in this shed. Why? Okay. Did oh god, pick up silo keys. Oh god, use your warnings. Thanks, game. Come on, Barry. I'm gonna save you. Ow. Ow. Is that you out there, buddy? Yes, yeah, it's me. Hang. Hang, hey, let's go, man. We should, we should go, man. Barry. 
have to work together to open this gate, Al. Looks pretty heavy. Okay. Like I say, where's the prompt? Hey, I think that's the farm on the other side of the field. We're almost there. This farm is a crazy place for crazy people. We should feel right at home then. I don't know. It's pretty dope. My la my flashlight's pretty fucking strong. God damn! Look at that. Look at that beam. Jesus Christ. Come on, one more gig. Let's do this thing. I'm doing it. Calm down. Let me take this. A demon is going to wield that. Almost assuredly. The lights are out. I guess we better check the fuse box. Why is the fuse box box upstairs? Why? Examine what? The power downstairs was out, but I was sure I could fix that at the fuse box. The power downstairs was I was out, looking at the records. I was sure I could fix that at the fuse box. Who blew the fucking door off the fridge? God damn. Barry, Barry, now we're here. we've got a situation here, Barry. Thank you. I think I got a lot of fucking just open fi uh, fireworks in here. You know, this place looks kind of lived in. I thought the Andersons were in the booby hatch. Old gods know the truth. I mean, yeah. Peyote changes a man. Ah, manuscript. The mystery of the missing week. Again, Alice's screams rang in the stillness of the night. I saw myself run toward the cabin, flashlight in my hand. I followed my past self. I was an out-of-body observer, a time traveler in a crazy drunken dream. This was the beginning. The night Alice had disappeared. The mystery of what had happened during the missing week was about to reveal itself. Neat. Fuse box. If I were a fuse box, why would I be in the bedroom? Can you hear that, Al? Music? Of course. We need to find where it's coming from. That's the message the Anderson's talking about. That's the whole reason we're here. Lady of the Light? No, that's gotta be what's her face, the crazy lamp lady from the town. Yes. Cynthia Weaver. CW right. Cynthia Weaver. I figured it out. Game didn't have to tell me. I figured it out all on my own. Okay. We need to find Cynthia Weaver. We'll stay here for the night and head back to town as soon as it gets light. Hey, Al. Lots of hours before dawn. Might as well get some rest. And by rest, I mean drunk. Come on, Barry. This is... Yeah. What the hell? The demons is what the hell. This house kind of looks like the... The... Oh fuck. Oh, we don't get along, but we're gonna find her, right? Amityville Horror House. There it is. Crazy bastard. I'm gonna stick by you, no matter what, ever, Al. Sure, like a brother. I'm a writer, god damn I thought it. that right. cutout was a if demon standing in the corner watching. I could write ten books a year, and and they'd be the best books that year. No, you couldn't. That's right, I couldn't. But I could, cause I'm a writer. What? What do they put in this stuff? I feel like my brain is coming out of my nose. <laughs> I'm gonna get the recipe off those coots and be a, a, a booze millionaire. I just miss her, Barry. I just want her here with me. I know, Al. I know. It's gonna be okay. We're gonna make it okay. Oh no, he's dead. Yes, mysterious poster.
or cardboard cutout gazing longingly at me Yep. Get to the cabin. Oh. Alice, I'm coming. It's all right. I'm coming. It was a crazy drunken dream, and yet it was more than that. It was the truth, a suppressed memory unearthed by the Andersons' moonshine. I was there. An out-of-body observer. This was the night Alice and I had arrived at Bright Falls. The night Alice had disappeared. I had a chance to find out what had happened. We'll do that next time because we're this is this is a bit of a long boy. Um. All right. Sure. I don't think there was. I really didn't have a big mystery about that missing week, but I guess it never occurred to me that yeah, something might a bit of fuckery might have happened in that missing week. Uh. We'll find out next time. Uh, for now, I want to thank you all for watching. If you enjoyed this episode, super kick that like button. Check my channel for more videos I have done. If you like what we see, hit the subscribe button. And until next time, goodbye.